Thomas and the Big Bang. Thomas is a cheeky little engine. He likes to have fun with his friends. He likes playing hide and peep with Percy. And he enjoys joking with James. One day, Thomas was fitted with a brand new whistle. The whistle gleamed, and Thomas beamed. And he blew it all day long. He blew it softly, and he blew it loudly. He blew it in stations, and he blew it in Misty Valley. Thomas thought it was the most wonderful whistle he had ever had. Thomas puffed into the wharf with a train of freight cars. Mr. Percival was there. Thomas, he said, the narrow gauge engines are bringing bricks, flour, and lumber. They must be loaded into your freight cars by supper time. Mr. Percival left. Thomas felt very happy. So he blew his new whistle loudly. Reneus was surprised. He jumped and biffed into his flatbeds. Scarloey and Sir Handel laughed. Even Reneus thought it was funny. That was fun, tooted Thomas. Now he wanted to play more jokes and have more fun. So Thomas chuffed off to look for another engine to peep. Later, Rusty puffed into the wharf. He was shunting cars full of bright red bricks. They were to be unloaded into Thomas's empty freight cars. But Thomas wanted to have more fun. He rolled up behind Rusty. Reneus and Scarlowe held their puff. Thomas blew his new whistle. Beep! Rusty jumped and he biffed his freight cars. Rusty was covered in red brick dust. Scarlowe and Reneus both laughed. Thomas thought it was great fun. Rusty thought it was fun too. Now he wanted to join in. Can't catch me! Hooted Rusty, and he steamed around the wharf. Thomas puffed after him. Everyone was laughing and having fun, but no one collected the bricks. Then Thomas had another idea. Sir Handel will be arriving with the cars of flowers soon. He tooted. Why don't we all peep them at once? The little engines were excited, and they all found hiding places. As Sir Handel puffed into the wharf, there was nobody to be seen. Now, cried Thomas. He blew his new whistle as loudly as he could. The little engines blew their whistles too. Sir Handel biffed his freight cars in surprise. Flour flew up into the air like a great white cloud. You look like a ghost, laughed Rusty. Whoa, laughed Sir Handel. Look at me, I'm a ghost. And he steamed away. Soon all the engines were chasing each other, and no one was doing any work. Thomas had another idea. Peter Sam is on his way. Let's peep him as well. And the little engines agreed this was a very good idea. Peter Sam trundled into the wharf. Thomas got ready with his whistle. The little engines got ready too. Beep! Peter Sam shot forward. He bashed his flatbed so hard. They burst through the buffers, smashed through the oil drums stacked on the wharf, and splashed into the canal. Oh my! cried the little engines. Cinders and ashes! cried Thomas. Mr. Percival arrived at the wharf. What has been going on here? he said sternly. There are bricks all over the rails. 
flour all over the warehouse, and now lumber is in the canal. I'm sorry, sir, wished Thomas sadly. It's all my fault. I just wanted to play jokes and have fun. Mr. Percival was very cross. You must clear up this mess at once, he cried, and your freight cars must be loaded by supper time. As soon as the workmen had reloaded the bricks, Thomas started to work. But the little engines still wanted to play. They wanted to wish the dust and flower at each other. No more jokes, whistled Thomas. We have work to do. And he shunted the freight cars into a siding. New cars of flour were now ready, and Thomas took them to the sidings as well. At last, the workmen had the lumber wagons ready, and Thomas shunted them into the siding too. Finally, Thomas had one long train of bricks, flour, and lumber. And it wasn't even supper time. Mr. Percival came back. He saw Thomas, but Thomas was hiding his freight cars. Where are your freight cars, said Mr. Percival crossly. Thomas smiled. He was playing a trick. He puffed forward slowly. Here they are, sir, he whistled happily. Loaded up and ready to go. The little engines laughed. And Mr. Percival laughed too. Thomas, he said, that was a good joke. You are a really funny engine. And Thomas puffed happily away.